What's up guys, Tony Sidibi here. We're on Cyber Simulator today for a quick little video. Uh, as you guys may have actually seen, there's not any update at this present time. It looks like it's been delayed again. Hopefully it will actually get updated pretty soon. I will obviously keep you informed once that is actually updated. But before that update does come, I want to do this quick little video. So before I actually get into the video guys, I just want to say if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Help me on my road to 6,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Please turn the post notification bell so you don't miss out my future videos, live streams and pick giveaways in various games. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that I left guys. Okay guys, so... In this video, I am actually going to be showing you a couple of ev evolutions of some of the moon pets from the last three islands. Now, being that we have actually still got the look week going at the moment because they extended it as well as the Halloween event, being that we've still got the two Halloween eggs down here on the lower ground floor, I do think that they will actually remove the, uh, these eggs this week once it does get updated being that they've just extended it for that additional week. Not sure about the look week. Hopefully they do keep that going, but I cannot guarantee. They may actually take that out as well, guys. So I have actually been grinding quite some time to try and get some pets from the last couple of islands. Now, you're probably thinking why I've been doing the last few islands instead of the top island. As most of you guys are aware and have seen previously in some of my videos, I do actually have a few um accounts that i use on cyber sim so when we do have look weeks or any weeks that we have um special stuff that they release i do tend to log those on and try and get as many pets as possible for giveaways so i have actually had a couple of my accounts on the last couple of islands which i will show you in a second and i will also show you the evolution pets that i've actually managed to hatch during the look week and to be honest i have had some pretty good luck the last uh, week and a half considering the last few weeks and the last few months my luck has been hit and miss here and there so i think i'm going to start using a few more of my accounts on a regular basis instead of just one account because then i think i can actually get more pets for future giveaways so as i said i'm going to show you the evolutions of the pets that i've actually hatched from the eggs now as i said i am using a couple of my accounts so i'll just show you i've got a couple of my accounts on here and they are obviously on the last three islands still hatching because i want to try and get as many pets as possible for future giveaways so i will actually obviously jump up and show you the accounts that are on there so on 109 i do have one of my accounts on here which is a TCW Alt 4 and obviously that's hatching the ultimate island egg on island 110 I've got a TCW Alt 6 on this island and on island 111 obviously I've got a TCW Alt 10 now if you're wondering why they obviously don't go in numerical order and it goes four six ten it's because i've only got a few accounts that have actually got up to the top island and got quite a few crowns on the other accounts i just generally use for when they release special stuff like um from last christmas remember if you remember when we had the advent calendar i actually used all those accounts to combine free pets that we've got to make certain evolutions and obviously you probably would have seen that in one of the videos that i've done where i think i made something like 10 void um gift explosions and that's because obviously i used all of my accounts uh, i know it might be over the top but you've probably seen that i do actually have about 100 accounts as i said not all of those have actually got up to max class or max island I think out of that I've only got about six or seven that I actually mainly use to go up to the islands and so forth. The rest are just basically to use for special events as I said. Like if we get um, the calendar, so hopefully if we get the calendar again this year, I'll obviously jump on with all those games to try and get some more pets to do a giveaway in those as well. So 
Now, obviously, you guys have obviously seen those accounts because I do get a quarry, a few comments saying, how are you lucky? How do you get this? How do you get that? And I do say I do use multiple accounts and a few people think that I don't. So, obviously, this video just shows that I do use multiple accounts, not just one account. Um, and obviously, that does actually help me get the pets and do giveaways as well as upgrade my pets when they do get outdated. So, as I said, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few evolutions of the pets that I've managed to hatch and make. <coughs> Excuse me. And as I said, the luck week, I've been pretty lucky over the last week, give or take. And I have actually hatched a pet which I wanted and I've actually spent loads and loads of time doing it and I finally got it. So I'm glad they extended the look week as if they did take the look week out this week. I don't think I would have actually got the pet. So now we obviously know that we're using multiple accounts on different islands. I will show you the pets that I've got that I've made and hatched. So first of all, if I just come down here now these shinies and rainbows I've actually made and hatched so these obviously from the top island which is here so we'll start off from this island guys so the shiny opal is pretty decent stats to be honest 119,000 strength and coin boost and 48,500 crowns now if you kept that that status um, of evolution and then max out to level 100 you would get double the stats so you'd get just under 100,000 crowns and just under 240,000 strength and coins so pretty decent to be honest and that's just for a shiny so if you get a rainbow ring so that is 141,250 and 49,375 so quite close to the crowns on the triple moon pet but as you can see, it's a lot more on the strength. You're talking another 20, 21,000, 22,000, give or take. So you'll be talking 282,500, give or take. And then just under 100,000 crowns if you got this to level 100. So during the look week, guys, I would actually say it is really, really useful to actually use and get the pets that you really want. Now, as I said, I have actually made a few of these. I've hatched a few of these over the course of the last few days. And they are quite overpowered. So, I will actually come back to this island because I do want to show you something that I've actually hatched on here as well. But first of all, I'm just going to jump down to island 110 because I want to show you these as well. So, the double and triple moon pets on here. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of shiny souls. Now, I've actually made three of these and hatched one of these, so these this island does seem to be a little bit more tricky to actually hatch. I'm not certain why, but I've not really had much luck on this island with this account that I'm actually using to hatch, but nevertheless, these are the actual stats of this. So, Shiny Souls, 114,000 strength coins, 46,500 crowns. So, you can see, quite similar to the Shiny Spiral. Just obviously 5,000 uh, 5, less on strength of coins and 2,000 on crowns. So regardless whichever one you get, you are looking at a decent uh, stat pet for this island if you don't actually have the top island open or you haven't been able to hatch any of these shinies or make any. So give or take the 5,000 on crowns, you're not really going to miss out that much on strength and coins boost from these two pets. So... As you can see, shiny four Timothy's, they're 108,000. Now, I did actually do a video on the void four Timothy that I did actually hatch. So, if you want to see what the stats are for that pet, um, obviously just go and watch that video because the stats are quite overpowered. And I'm actually leveling that up at the moment to eventually move on to this account. Okay, so let's go down to island 109. So, this is the ultimate island. Now, as you guys know, I have, I have actually hatched um, a couple of voids of the Ultimate Cotton Candy. And to be honest, I have actually made quite a few more over the course of the last couple of weeks um, of hatching. Now, for some reason, this pet is quite um, frequently hatched. Not certain why, but if you are trying to get um, a double moon pet, guys, 
this island seems to actually give you the best chance for a double moon pet. I'm not certain why, as I said, but if you are obviously after a double moon pet, I would probably say try this island because it's, it seems to give you a better chance for this uh, particular pet, guys. So I have actually uploaded a video on the void ev uh, evolution of that. Um, and I have actually got some voids on here at the moment that I've transferred over to me because I've got them up to a certain level to obviously replace my old pets. So I'm going to actually show you those voids. <coughs> See, mate. Um, and also, guys, I am actually going to show you a evolution of the triple moon pet from this uh, island, which I've managed to hatch. And as I said, this is the actual pet that I was hoping to get. Um, and for some reason, this pet is really really hard to get from hatching normal to uh, rainbow and uh, shiny so I'm not certain why this one is so hard to get but as I said over the last couple of days I've actually managed to hatch an evolution of this one and I was quite shocked when I seen it because I never thought I would actually get it but I'm just going to show you now guys so as you can see I've actually got a void ultimate shattered um, and as I said, when I seen this, I was quite shocked because I've been trying to get some of these um, to make shinies and rainbows, and for some reason, it would just not hatch anything. And I've managed to actually get the void ultimate over the last uh, day, day and a half. Um, I still can't believe that I've actually got it now, but I will try and get this leveled up at some point. But as you can see, the stats on here is 157,500 crowns, uh, sorry, strength and coin boost and 60,750 crowns um, sorry about getting the uh, stuff confused then because I, I still can't believe I, I've actually managed to hatch this one um, but as you can see guys if I get this to level 100 you will be looking at doubling these stats so you're talking 315,000 give or take strength and coins and 121,500 crowns so that's pretty decent stats for that pet now, obviously, I've got a void and a rainbow from the top island here. So, I'm actually just going to sh uh, shoot back up to island 110 so we can obviously look at them. So, considering that I've managed to hatch that, the stats on that are pretty good. But the double moon pet from this island um, actually is even better. So, before I show you that, guys, I just want to show you the rainbow um, pet that I've managed to hatch. And as you can see, I am one away from making a second one. Um, and it's, to be honest, the stats on this is pretty decent. So considering the ultimate shattered is that for a void, for a rainbow spiral, you're talking 148,750 strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of 60,625. So as you can see, the crowns on that pet is basically only 125 less for a rainbow so the crowns if you're after crowns guys this one in rainbow form gives you roughly the same as a void ultimate shattered now obviously because this is two uh, two islands after this one and the two halloween events effectively this is the um fourth the fourth evolution pet that's been released so obviously the pets from the previous updates for the Halloween and Island 110 would gradually increase and then this one obviously has a higher percentage of stats. So that's the reason why the strength on hit sorry the coins on here are quite uh, similar. And that's obviously rainbow compared to void. Now if you look at the str uh, strength and coins, that's 157,500 and that's 148,750. So less than 10,000 stats for strength and coin. So even if you get a rainbow version of this, when you've actually maxed this out, <coughs> me, you are looking just under 300,000 strength and coin boost and still over 121,250 or something like that. Um, a rough estimation on crowns. So it's pretty decent to be honest. So if I didn't actually hatch this, which I'm still shocked of getting guys, um, I would have actually been happy with just the sp uh, rainbow spiral because the stats on that is still pretty decent. Now, 
compared to that, as I said, I have actually got a void um, ring Timothy, which I've managed to hatch. And as you can see, I am close to actually making another one. I've got another eight rainbows here, so another two of those I can get another void. Um, so hopefully I can actually get those rainbows before they do update, update the game and possibly take out the um, look weak. But the stats obviously on the rainbow is 141,250 strength of coin and just under 50,000 for crowns. If you manage to hatch a void or if you trade people to actually get rainbows to make a void, then the stats on that pet guys actually jump up to 169,500 and strength and coins and then 59,250 crowns. Now compared to obviously the void and the rainbow, this one is a lot more stats for strength and coin. So if you get this maxed out, that's basically just under 170,000. So you're talking just under 340,000 give or take. Um, and as you can see the crowns just under 60,000 so just under 120,000 crowns so the crowns if you don't obviously get these ones the crowns are still quite considerably high um, so this one here will only give you a slight um, decrease in crowns compared to the rainbow spiral but it gives you a lot more in strength and coin as you can see it's over um, 20,000 about 20,750 give or take um, and that's an increase quite a, quite a lot so that is a decent hit and a decent stat now as you can see guys these are obviously the cotton candies which I t uh, showed you in previous updates and I've actually got them up to replace them with my old pets because my old pet, uh, pets were maxed out at level 100 and capped out at a lower um, strength and coin stats so I did say once I transfer these over to this account I will actually show you the stats so the stats on these at level 60 for avoid ultimate cotton and candy you got 237,600 and 75,600 crowns at 73 it goes up to 256,905 strength and coins and 81,742.5 crowns and then at level 76, and I've still got another 24 levels to go before I max it out. It goes up to 261,360 strength of coin boost and a crown boost to 83,160. Now if you compare that to my Void Phantom from a few islands ago, as you can see, the Void Double Moon just basically blows the Void Phantom out of the water with the stats. And that's at level 90, and this is on level 76. So level 76 is a lot better than a level 90 double, uh, triple moon pet so i know i've said in previous videos that triple moon pets are pretty good for strength and coins and crowns but at the moment the double moon pets are getting a lot more powerful and quite similar stats now they have they have actually started increasing the stats on the double uh, the triple moon pets compared to the double so week on week you do get a thousand increase on the double moon pet ace stat pet when you hatch it and then on triple moon pets that i've actually seen over the last couple of weeks they do increase it by 2500 increase for strength and coin um, and a bit extra on crowns compared to the double so i think over the next few weeks couple of months give or take i think the triple moon pets will be a lot more overpowered than the double moon pets but at, at the moment guys the double moon pets are quite similar to the triples so if you are trying to get some decent stat pets the double moon pets at the moment will actually give you that stats that you need and as you guys know the sabers in here are getting quite expensive and these pets will actually help you get the strength of coins to get the uh, sabers or rank up or the dna that you actually need guys so Obviously, I just want to show you the stats for these pets and obviously show you the Void Ultimate Shatter that I've managed to hatch. Um, I, I'm, as I said, I'm still speechless and not sure how I've managed to actually hatch this. Um, I did hatch this on a alt account, which is one of the ones I've actually got on. Um, so I'm actually happy that they've carried on the look week. Now, as I said, guys, I am actually going to be looking at doing some 
giveaways shortly on Void Double Moon Picks. I have got quite a few voids um, on all my accounts. I am actually going to be looking at transferring them onto one account and getting the giveaway done ASAP. Um, I can't remember exactly how many there is, but I, I did have a rough uh, count on a couple of accounts, and I think I had about 60 to 65 but I've got more on, on the other accounts so I'm hoping that I've got quite a lot to actually give away to a lot of people I am going to be giving one void double moon pet away to individual people so I'm trying to actually give as many people as possible a, a pretty decent OP pet and hopefully it will help you guys out in some way or form so I will try and actually get that done as soon as possible guys if you are sub to the channel and you've got uh, post notifications turned on, you should get a notification from YouTube once I do actually start the giveaway, and then you'll actually know how to join and get yourself one of those pets. As I said, I'm trying to give as many pets away to as many people that I can. If I do manage to get more void pets uh, before that giveaway, I will actually include those as well, guys, and hopefully make a lot more people happy by giving a more... Uh, pits out so please keep an eye out for that notification from youtube when i do actually do the video on the giveaway um i probably will actually do a video before that just to show you what pets i have got and how many there will be in total and then i will look at actually scheduling a video to do the giveaway shortly after that as well so at least everyone knows what pets are obviously in the giveaway and how many i've got so for instance I don't, I don't know exactly how many I've got, but for instance, say if I've got, say, 80 pets, then 80 people will actually get a pet. So those 80 people hopefully will get um, a pretty decent OP pet to help them in some way or form. So please keep an eye out for those couple of videos, guys. So I know obviously the video has actually gone on a little bit longer than I expected, uh, but obviously I wanted to get everything in this video to show you and obviously mention the giveaway that I am going to be getting sorted ASAP. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video guys I, as I said I'm still a bit shocked at the moment that I managed to hatch that I did not think I would actually hatch another void um, for in game for a long time and I've managed to get that so I will actually try and get that up at some point and then hopefully transfer that over and show you the stats once it's actually at a level that I can transfer it over but before I do end the video guys I just want to say once again if you are new to the channel or not subscribed would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button help me on my road to 6,000 subscribers before the end of the year thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far and the support that you're giving me please turn the post notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos live streams and pet giveaways in various games including this one as I said I'm going to be looking at doing one shortly I'm just trying to get everything all sorted please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left guys and if you enjoyed the video today, please smash that thumbs up button. See how many in the video today. See if we can get about 250 or more. Okay, guys. So that's it for this video. And I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe, guys. And peace out.